Hey everyone, tonight we are talking about um, Essential Oils 101 and I just want to welcome you to this event. I'm so glad you're here. We thank you for joining us. Um, I would love to hear where you're joining us from, so comment below. Um, I'm just going to talk a little bit and I have some notes here to keep me on track this evening. So um, we're going to play some videos and have some um, graphics. If you're having trouble keeping up, just refresh your browser please and um, let us know as you go along if you have any questions. Uh, participation makes it fun, so make sure you um, join in and comment and share with us your um, personal experiences and testimonies. So before we get started, I have to put a little disclaimer out there. I wanted to say I'm not a medical professional. This is information for educational purposes only. I kindly ask that you, um, you not ask me to treat, diagnose, or um, refer you to certain any uh, refer you to any certain or specific oils for diseases. Okay. Um, if you have any questions on that, there are great resources available that you can you can research. Okay. Now on to the fun stuff. My name is Julia Hagen. Um, I am living in, around Nashville, Tennessee with my family, my husband, who um, we are high school sweethearts. We've been married 10 years. We have two children. Um, my son is four. My daughter is 10 months old. And I'm not going to get into my complete health story, but one of the reasons why I'm so passionate about this topic is because I had a lot of health problems in my 20s. Um, I spent five or six years in a state where my health, um, once I would find one thing and fix it, I would get something else. And it was this snowball effect, one thing after another. And I was chronically um, not well. And so it took me learning how to be my own advocate and to not take no for an answer because I wasn't feeling well and I wasn't getting the answers that I needed. And nobody was really helping me. Um, and so at that time I decided I'm going to get to the bottom of this. So um, thankfully with the, the Lord and his guidance and um, my family being supportive, I went from different doctors. I did so much research on my own, different tests, foods, allergies. Um, and during this time, this whole time, I learned so much. And I believe that your body has what it needs to heal itself. Um, as long as it's given what it needs and that included taking out things that are um, making us sick that are toxic that are bombarding and overwhelming our bodies and then putting in the things that have been depleted the things that are missing those building blocks to healing so a part of that journey um, and that healing journey was learning just the unbelievable information on how to read labels including personal care food um, cleaners, all of these things, even the green cleaners that I thought were okay, um, learning that they really weren't. And just because it's sold on a shelf doesn't mean it's safe for you and your family. So that whole journey kind of led me to where I am today. And now I'm super passionate and I love to help other families learn how to live a more chemical free life and have better health, abundant health, and to live life to its fullest without um, just feeling yucky on a daily basis because that's not what we're meant here um we are here and we're, we're meant for and we're meant with a purpose um we are meant to live a life that is full and abundant and i want you to feel well okay so tonight we're going to be talking about some of those things i love education this is my this is my jam this is what i enjoy doing so i hope that you get something from it um so Welcome to all of you, um, to all of our members. If you're a member on our team, be sure to say hello and let us know that um, how long you've been with Young Living, if you're a current Young Living member. If you're not, we welcome you, all of the people who are not members yet but will be. Um, we also are just, we're just so excited that you're here. Um, why specifically did you join this event tonight? Um, what are you interested in learning? Let us know below specifically. Maybe I can address that during the class. Um, you each have your own various reasons why you're here. Okay, You're here for a reason and you're here for a purpose. Um, you, if you're wanting to learn and try essential oils, um, I'm glad you're, you're here today. That's what we're here to help with. I want to start off by saying that disease does not happen overnight. This is not something that... Um, 
just boom, you're sick, and it's this big disease state. This is something that happens over time, over chronic use of the way we eat, the way we treat our bodies, what we put on and in our bodies. Um, there is a bioaccumulation effect of all of this stuff that we are taking in. Um, it happens little by little, day to day, choice by choice. Um, everything you do either fights disease or contributes to it. And this is something that I even personally on a daily basis have to remind myself in with food especially it's a struggle because what we get busy life happens we make the easy choices but um, we're not gonna be perfect so please know that I'm not coming from a place of judgment as a busy mom I know how hard it is I know that um, sometimes it's just easy to warm up some gluten-free chicken nuggets and make some mac and cheese I, I totally get that and there are gonna be some days where we have those days but let's just try to make um, more days better and make each little choice um, matter, okay? Because it, it does, it builds up. Um, what you may not realize, what you're putting on and in your body, how important it is. Um, and what you breathe in matters just as much. Did you, this is something that just blows my mind. Did you know that um, the air you breathe inside your home can be anywhere from five to 10 times more polluted than outside air. That's really scary when you think about it, right? Um, this is due to your home being inadequately ventilated. So we are using things inside the home that are toxic. We have candles and air fresheners and laundry detergent, dishwasher soap, all of these things that come up into the air that we're breathing in. And then our windows, everything stays shut. Um, a lot of people have allergies and don't want to let those environmental things come in so we keep everything locked up and tight so we don't have proper ventilation of our homes plus the addition of all this toxic stuff that is inside the home and it's being trapped and we're breathing it so that's that's not that's not great so um, especially dryer sheets okay that's one of the top toxins um, right now that is known is dryer sheets so if that's something that you're using just keep that in mind and we might be able to, sh we, we, we can show you some ways to ditch those and replace it with something else, okay? Um, but that's what these are, it's just facts. And for the sake of our future, our health and our children's, it's not something that we really should just ignore. I know it's easy, um, but my thought is no better, do better, right? It's not our fault that we didn't know up until a certain point, okay? Um, I did a lot of this for years and I didn't know. So if that's you, it's okay. Let's not beat ourselves up about it. It's when you do know, let's try to make better choices. And I found, like I said, I felt the same way when I heard all of these facts. It feels really overwhelming. It feels scary. It feels like um, really a lot of pressure, to be honest, that you just um, don't wanna go through your cabinet and start ditching all of these things. But just don't feel overwhelmed. It's one little step at a time. It took me several years, so be encouraged. This is not an overnight thing. But every oil that you're using is going to be a toxin, a toxic chemical that you're not using, okay? So, um, as the gatekeeper of your home, which if you're a mom, if you're a dad, if you're a parent, if you're a grandparent, whatever your role is, it's important. Um, not only for yourself, but for your family. This is a decision um, that you have to make, no one else, okay? Super important. Um, like I said, I'm trying to kind of follow some bullets here so I stay on track because it's something I'm really passionate about and I may just take off for 10 minutes and we wanna give you guys the information um, and deliver it and get you to your, to your bedtime with your kiddos. So, would you agree that living a more chemical-free lifestyle is important to you? If, if that's something that's important to you, then all of these things are going to be um, something that you're really going to enjoy and you're going to want to um, write down, take notes. So stick around because we're going to do some giveaways too at the end. But um, today we want to help you learn how diverse these essential oils are and the numerous ways that you can change that 
that they bring into your everyday life that you can um, swap all of these things out. We will show you how you can ditch those synthetic toxins and switch over to something that will benefit your body, your mind, your overall well-being, and in a plant-based, chemical-free way. So um, not only are these things going to help support your health, but they're going to also get rid of those chemicals in your home. So we're so glad you're here. Next we're going to talk about what essential oils are. So if you've heard about them but you're not sure really how they work or what they do in the body, then that's what we're going to cover next. So welcome and stay tuned for the rest of our class.